Hey, welcome back. Let's make another basic part in Onshape. So just like before, we're going to create a document and let's call this two basic because it'll be part number two from the worksheet that you can download on chrisandjimsim.com. And <clears throat> this one, I think I'm going to start uh, from the right hand side. So I'm going to click on the right hand side and start a sketch plane. And I like to <clears throat> go and hide all my planes once I get started. So all I've got is my sketch plane. So there we go. Um, let's make a rectangle. And I'm going to click on the origin and I'm going to make this rectangle, if I look at it correctly, I think it's 1.25. 1.25. Enter by uh, one and a half tall. One point five tall okay so that's remember that's from the side so let's extrude it we'll finish up the sketch and say extrude let's zoom in on a little bit look at it from the right angle and we need it to be oh let me see 2.5 inches that's a big one 2.5 pick what we want to extrude and say done there we go all right uh, the next thing i want to do we're going to make this real simple we're going to, i'm going to start from the front and i'm going to do a subtractive process and cut out the rectangle so i'm going to make another sketch put a sketch on the front make a rectangle and this rectangle is going to be 1.5 and it's going to be one tall. Uh, don't forget, I'm going to use my dimension tool and I'm going to make this dimension correct. In this case, it's 0.5. And that places it in the right spot. Finish our sketch. Extrude. This time I'm going to remove that section. Um, instead of blind, I'm going to go to the next surface, which is there, and say OK. All right. Well, let's cut off the little semicircle thing on the end next. So I'm going to go to the right hand side and put a sketch on it. Um, I've done this part so many times that I know that the center of that circle, if you look at it close enough, lives on that upper corner. And I'm just going to randomly click. And if I look, that circle starts one quarter of an inch from here. So I'm going to use my dimension tool and I'm going to dimension from this point to this circle. And I'm going to say, I want that to be 0.25. And I can check by clicking here and clicking here. And I can see that that's 0.5 and that's what it's supposed to be on my drawing. So we're all set. I'm going to say done look at it and again we're going to extrude and do a remove uh, we're going to go to instead of blind we're going to say through all and we're going to select oops that circle I can select just I should could have just selected the part of the circle and done it so there we go nice um, next I'm going to flip this upside down and I'm going to work on the bottom let's put a sketch on the bottom and look at it straight on and we're gonna put the rectangular hole in it again remember when you're putting something somewhere we have to have the right size and this is 0.5 enter 0.5 and we have to place it so let's put some dimensions and let's dimension it how far is it from this edge uh, this edge if I look it's exactly one inch that'll center it that way uh, this is only one way to do it, remember. And how far is it from this direction? Uh, from the back, remember that's the back, it's 0.5. Finish my sketch. And let's just extrude, remove, and say through all. And there we go. Let's take a look at it. Let's make sure we have this right. And we do. Looks great. 
Um, any questions, uh, be sure to ask your instructor. Thank <laughs> you.